All right, everybody. Um, we are still working on the Rustang. So actually, since we're gonna be replacing the whole front end, we really don't need to take the springs out, but I wanna get the shims that are in this upper control arm out so I can put them in the, in the new one. See, there's a stack of shims right there, and there's a stack of shims there. Every Mustang I've ever seen has shims in it. So I'm gonna start it off with a set of shims so I don't have to worry about it. So, springs. Springs are very dangerous, all right? They have a lot of built-up energy in them. If they get away from you and they hit you, they could kill you. So, do not do what I do and please, if you don't know what you're doing, get somebody to help you. So, with that said, this is a spring compressor. It has a hook here and a hook down here, and it's got a screw that goes through. Um, I've done this before, so I have made this piece up here to help hold everything nice and tight. It's a piece of old trailer hitch. Now, G Jr. is going to start tightening this down. Go ahead. And the forcing screw, that purple stuff is grease is going to compress the spring up anything it's going see that springs that coil slowly going up we're just going to get that spring up until it releases its tension on this spring saddle it's already lifting off the spring saddle there really easy to turn. yeah i got grease on it You know, they used to make a spring compressor that had like a flat piece of metal that had a hole drilled in it, and you would slide it in and then put the forcing screw in, but I can't seem to find one of those. Keep going. All right, a little bit more. A little bit more. Keep going, just keep going. Go faster, come on faster. I don't like using an impact on these because the impact tears up your threads. So I'd rather do it this way. Okay, yeah, there we go. We're almost off that seat. You all right? Okay. So he's got to go talk to a customer. So go on. All right, that's good. All right, see the spring is off the seat, off the control arm. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come in here, here, and now we need to get that, these two bolts out. I mean, two nuts out. As you can see with this nut here, see how there's only like two threads showing? And on this one here, there's like 10 threads showing. So the control arm is actually sitting in the car, cocked like this to give it some caster or camber, one or the other. All right, go get a socket that fits this and uh, the electric impact gun. Well, G Jr. goes get that. Let me show you again. This is just a piece of uh, a trailer hitch that I cut to give me that extra space I needed to compress the spring. All this junk we're not using. Well, actually, we might use the hubs because the new hubs over here that we've painted up don't have any studs. They're all too small. I think they're 21, and I told you, electric impact gun, dude, electric impact gun. But G Jr. is gonna go get the electric impact gun. Uh, we got a new bolt for the steering box at the hardware store. I think I have the two new bolts for the idler arm. We did get some parts in. We got another idler arm, brand new idler arm. All right, is it is it 21? It is not 21. Did you try 19 yet? It is 19, okay. Get on there and just loosen that one a little bit. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, let me come in here and see. All right, now loosen the back one a little bit. A little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, stop right there. All right, I'm gonna need two hands for this. I'm gonna take and reach in there, get a, probably get a screwdriver so I can get my shims out. Um, this really is hitting the spring. So I, I need to get my shrimp, my, my shims out. So after I get the shrimp, the, the shims out, 
and then we'll pull this lower control arm out we'll get the spring out and we'll come back so we took the nuts off of the other side of the spring tower and the front had one two three four five six shims there's the nut there's another nut and the back only had three shims and what that does is it puts your control arm like this to give you caster so that pulls back you know all these parts we're not going to be reusing but you can see right in here that the uh the frame look at that it's just it's just gone that's dented up this is all gone look at it look at the rust just falling falling in there uh one of the problems is, is uh there's no drain holes and then this fills up with road grime and then it holds moisture and just rots out uh, sometimes they put undercoating in uh, I don't know if that's undercoating or that's uh, road grime I think it's road grime so we got this off now we're gonna go ahead and bust the bolt loose here we're probably just gonna end up cutting the uh, sway bar link pin to get this stuff out of here we're gonna lower this spring to get the spring out they said be very very careful these springs so what I'm gonna do on this one, I'm probably gonna put a jack handle up in it. So when it comes, if it comes, if there still has any energy, it'll just come down into the jack handle. All right, well, we're still trying to get the front end apart. Um, we took the two nuts off the strut rod. We cut the um, sway bar link pin. We've taken the control arm out, bolt, the lower control arm bolt out here. And now we're just trying to get, <laughs> get freed from there I swear that control arm just bent <laughs> so there we go so out with the old rusty crusties it looks like the wheel cylinder was leaking on this one this is the front see how the paints can you see how the paint's gone that's telling me that the wheel cylinder was leaking so all this stuff is junk except for maybe the hub because it's got studs we're probably going to reuse these hubs on the other on the other spindles so and as we were digging around what did you do with the screwdriver i had it sitting right there this is this is completely gone completely gone so every little bit of piece of metal that we can get off here is just going to make it lighter for us to get it out of here and get it to the junkyard so um all righty uh we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and then once we do that we're gonna probably we're, we had to order a plug for a plasma cutter and then once we get this stuff off of this side here we'll get the plug for the plasma cutter and we'll come in here and we'll start cutting the front end off of this car so there's another update video what we're doing so we'll go ahead and continue working on this we're going to go ahead and get the other side apart to make it lighter and we'll just get rid of all these junk parts all right, everybody, I think this is a good enough quick video for this time of getting the front suspension off. I don't remember what part this is, but we'll do it. We also have a master cylinder coming for it, so we'll probably put that in when we clean up the uh, firewall. Anything else to add? Nope. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe. You can always see that in that corner. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the Rustang video. And remember, those springs are dangerous. Be very, very careful. We'll talk to you in the next one.